Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Erin and today we are doing a video that I honestly have been putting off for months now. I know a few people requested this video months and months and months and months ago and I was putting it off because up until recently I didn't have a bookshelf. <laughs> I mean I do have a bookshelf but it's not in my filming area and it wasn't able to hold any of the books that I've read within the last four years so <laughs> I really didn't have anywhere to store my books and I didn't know how to do a bookshelf tour when there was no bookshelf to show but now as you all know I have a bookshelf I have been decorating it it is in the background of my videos now. It is my main background. I really like it. I think it's cute. Um, it's not exactly how I want it. I, I will be making changes and I do make changes every once in a while just because, I don't know, I like to play with the decor and play with what's up there and kind of move them around and, you know, I like to keep it balanced but I also like to change it up a bit. So this isn't probably the final look. I don't know if there ever will be a final look to be honest. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like currently and I'm pretty happy with how it looks right now so I figured this was as good of time as any time to do it. So I am not going to go through every single book I own. I'm gonna give a brief overview of each shelf. I'm also going to go through the decor on each shelf because I do get a lot of questions about where I get uh, certain pieces that I have so I will have everything that I can physically find and link for you in the description box I will try to link everything I can find um, if I can't find it I'm really sorry <laughs> but I will try to link everything I can find because I know a lot of you wonder about some of the things behind me so uh, yes I, I don't know is there any general things you should know I got my bookcase from Wayfair um, my organization of books is really non-existent. I don't really organize my books. Some of them are organized by author. Some of them are... <laughs> I try to organize my bookshelf by subgenre because these are all horror. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I just got tired of trying to do that. And so I kind of just shoved books where they fit and I gave up halfway through putting together my um, bookshelf. So there isn't really organization here. Uh, I just kind of put things together. And also these are not all my books. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I only have one bookshelf, which um, isn't enough. I probably need at least two to three more. Uh, so <laughs> these are not all my books. Uh, I will show you right now where some of my other books are. Uh, right here I have another kind of bookshelf book display thingy over here. And this holds a lot of my new books. Like everything up here I haven't read. <laughs> so every time I get a new book I just place it up here. Uh, the shelf below has books that I have read and they just don't fit on this bookshelf. And then below that shelf is more books so um there's that and then over here i have my tbr cart which is also full of books that i haven't read yet so um yes the bookshelf is not that's not it that's not all my books <laughs> so this is just what's on my bookshelf that you see in my videos uh because i need more bookshelves so <laughs> I guess that's all you need to know about this video and what I'm going to talk about. So I'm just going to go through each shelf and talk about what's on it and some of the books I have and yeah, that's, that's the video. So let's get started.
So this is my top shelf and the first thing on here is this Krampus garland I got from Etsy and I really really like it. I got it for Christmas last year for decoration and I do really like it and I've kept it up because I think it is pretty spooky and creepy and I really like the pictures. However, I don't love it on the bookshelf. <laughs> I don't love the way it looks right now. I might try to find a different kind of garland for the bookshelf. I don't know. I don't... There's just something about it. Maybe because it's too chunky and it hangs in front of my books. I, I was gonna have it like this up at the tippy top like that, but I also didn't like the way that looked. So um, yeah, I, I don't I don't know how I feel about my garland. Um, it's just kind of here right now <laughs> until I find something to replace it with or find a different way to use it. Uh, so I'm unsure, but I do really like the garland itself. I think it's beautiful and the pictures are really creepy and cool. So first up for decor is one of my new pieces. This is a little ghost plaque that says you can't haunt with us. It's a play on Mean Girls, the whole you can't sit with us. I love Mean Girls and I love ghosts, obviously. But this is from Sinister Signs. I have quite a bit of things from Sinister Signs. It's a really amazing small UK shop. They have really great plaques, really cool bookmarks. They just have a lot of really cool things. And Maddie, who owns the shop, is a super, super, super sweet person. I love her. She's so kind and she loves spooky things and she loves books and she's just really, really cool. So I love my little ghost. Ah, there we go. There he, there's an up close little view of my little ghost friend. I love him very, 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 very much. Next up for decor is my Coraline doll. This was actually a gift for Christmas, I believe, from my mom. I think she got her from Hot Topic? I'm not sure though. But I know you can find um, these Coraline dolls uh, kind of frequently. I see them all the time. But I love Coraline. Coraline is one of my favorite movies of all time. So I love her. She is so freaking cute and I love that she just sits on my bookshelf now. She's just, uh, she's a staple. I, I, I'll never get rid of her. Ever, 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 ever. I love her. Okay, I have just been corrected. My Coraline doll was bought from GameStop. So in case you want to check GameStop for that. But I'm also pretty sure Hot Topic has had Coraline dolls in the past. So one of those. Next up is my Krampus Funko Pop. I love him so, so much. I don't collect too many Funko Pops. I would like to get more because I think they are really, really cute. But this one is one of the ones that I actually own. You'll see a few more later on, but those aren't mine, which I'll get to and I'll explain later. But this one is mine and yeah, I love him. I think he's creepy and cute. I got him around Christmas time last year, and I believe I got him from Nightmare Toys. I believe. Yes, I love him lots. Next up is my Mr. Cramp figurine. I got this from a Loot Fright box, and I think he's pretty uh, freaky looking. He's kind of ugly, but in a, in a good way. And I like having him next to my Krampus uh, Funko Pop. I think they look cute together. And if you think about it, this row is kind of a Christmassy row. You'll see that with also my next item. So yeah, I don't know why. I guess because the Krampus garland is on this shelf, I kind of just went with a theme. So yes. Next and last for the decor pieces is my little Santa Claus Sam, my little Santa Sam. This was a gift from my partner and he got him from Etsy for me. And yeah, like I said, uh, this is like a little Christmassy theme, I guess. I, I don't, it was kind of an accident. I didn't mean to have a Christmas theme at the top here, but I guess I just went with one and um, yeah. I like to keep him all, I like to keep him out all year round because 
He is Sam, and Sam's one of my favorite horror movie characters, so yes. As for books, like I said, I don't have this super organized in any particular way, but right here I have some Darcy coats. I have more to add to this section now, but like I said, this bookshelf is pretty tightly packed. I don't know how many books I would be able to really get in there, maybe like one right here. So, um, yeah, it's gonna have to wait till I get more room, but here's some Darcy coats. I have all of my Ania or Anya Alborn. I'm very confused on how to pronounce her name now. Uh, I thought it was Ania, and I've been saying Ania for, <laughs> well, I don't know, like three years now, so I could be completely wrong. No one's corrected me at all, but I've seen people saying Anya Alborn now, and now I'm very confused. So here is my stack of Ania, Anya Alborn. I, I, yeah, I'm unsure. I'm unsure on how to pronounce her name, but yeah, I have all her books here, um, and I've read all of them, so. Next up, I think this section was supposed to be, like, a haunted house, demon kind of book area, because I have Mexican Gothic, I have, uh, House of Leaves, Imaginary Friend, uh, Kill Creek, The Exorcist, you know. Hell House, those kinds of things. Uh, I feel like this was what I was going for on this row. Um, so I kind of did like a haunted house demon ghost <laughs> thing, I guess. Um, I think this, this row makes the most sense in all honesty. Um, some of these I would probably move around a bit, but yeah, I, I think... I think that's where I was going with this row. We are now on to my second shelf. This shelf is probably, I don't know, I think it's my favorite shelf. It's a shelf that you all see most in my videos because of the height of everything. This is kind of mostly the background of my videos now. So um, I think this is my favorite. I, I don't know though. I, I, I don't know, but I think it's my favorite. Next up, we have a new addition to the family. This is a plaque that says, Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, which is from Are You Afraid of the Dark? If you've seen that show, I used to be obsessed with it. And this is from Sinister Signs as well. When I saw it, I knew I had to get my hands on it. I think it is so, so cute. And uh, I just think it fits in really nicely with them. Um, the vibes, you know, the vibes, guys. I think it fits in with the vibes. Next up, and another new addition to the little decoration family, are these uh, 3D printed witch claws, also from Sinister Signs. I got the medium sized ones, and I got them in green because I thought they were very witchy looking and spooky, and I don't know. I thought they looked cool and they would fit the vibe. So I got two and I think they look really cute together. I like that they can um, hold up the sign, the uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark sign. I think it looks really cool um, together and I just really like the way they look. Um, they're very eye-catching and I don't know, they make really great decor pieces. I'm really excited. I got another pair of these coming. Ah, they're bigger and I'm so excited. So Yes, I really, really, really like these. Next up, we have my little ghosty goo vase right here. He is from Killstar, and I absolutely love him. He is so cute. I'm not picking him up right now because <laughs> I'll show you in a minute, but he's kind of holding this other sign right here. But uh, yes, he's a little uh, vase, and right now he's holding my little Sam lollipop that my partner got me from Etsy. Yes, from Etsy. So I really like this and I had it kind of just like sitting on my shelf up there on the first shelf. It kept falling and I didn't know how to display it in a cool way and then my partner was like, hey, this is a vase, why don't you uh, 
put it inside the vase and I was like, hey, you're smart and I'm not. So I did that and now I think it looks really, really cute. And it's just little Sam's lollipop just hanging out in this little ghost face and I think that's really freaking cute. Why I haven't removed the ghost yet is because under the ghost is the string attached to this plaque right here. And this plaque has a little string and it says, reader beware, you're in for a scare. <laughs> goosebumps, I love goosebumps. So I had to get this and I love that it's on a little string. And the reason I have it hanging like this, you'll see in the next shelf tour, but it hangs right above my Goosebumps little pile right here. Oh, you can kind of see it. There's my Goosebumps down there. So I thought it was cute. It's like a little, <laughs> like a little sign showing the entrance to my little Goosebumps cave, if you will. I don't know. I thought it was cute and I liked that it was hanging. So I just kind of used my ghost vase to hold it. It's probably not safe. If I'm honest, it's probably super dangerous and I probably shouldn't do that. But until I find a better solution, that's how I do it. So yeah, uh, this plaque is also from Sinister Signs, if I didn't already say that. And then last but not least is something I get a lot of questions on. This is my little Valentine's Sam. This was also a gift from my partner. He also got this from Etsy. All these little Sams on my shelf, the Santa Sam, the Valentine's Day Sam, and the regular Sam you'll see in a bit, they are all from the same shop. So I will try to link them down below, like I said. But yes, I love him. He's very cute. He looks so cuddly. I mean, he is. You can like, you can like cuddle him. I love him. So cute. So now as for the books on this shelf, I kind of think of this shelf as my manga shelf uh, because the majority of the stuff on here is manga up until right here. So this is kind of my manga shelf. Um, ideally, I would like a bookshelf just for manga uh, because I just think that would look really cool. But until then, this is what I have going on. As you can see here, these are all my Junji Itos, but actually not really because <laughs> there are others that I own, just not up here because there are newer ones that I bought. So uh, most of them are on my TBR cart over there. I just bought Sensor and that came recently, so um, it's not here either. So. These are the ones that I was able to put on this shelf and there's no more room unfortunately. You can tell from these two just sitting <laughs> on top that there's no more room. So um, I think I might end up taking these books out so I can make this a manga section uh, just because it'll kind of bother me to not have all of my Junji Itos together. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But for right now, these are them. I have my Death Note Black Editions right here. And actually, I'm missing the sixth. Uh, yes, the sixth volume. I'm missing. I thought I had all of them, and I do not. So I actually uh, need to buy the sixth one. I thought I had them all, and I don't. I have Blood on the Tracks right here on top because, like I said, I don't have any more room. But I wanted these on my shelf because I really like the series, so <laughs> that's that. And then over here, I really don't know what these kind of books are, what I was trying to do. I think I just threw those over there, like The Ritual by Adam Neville, The Forgotten Island by David Sodergren, The Switch House by Tim Meyer, uh, The Return by Rachel Harrison. I don't really get what this was supposed to be. I don't know if I meant to do this or uh, what I was doing, honestly, probably I didn't have a clue and I just, uh, I just threw those on. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay, on to my third row right here. The first piece of decor we have is Bury Me With Books coffin plaque from Sinister Signs. But this one actually was sent to me by Maddie and I'm super appreciative. I love this coffin plaque so much. It is so cute and I think it fits really well with my whole decor because, um, you know, I'm surrounded by books. So yeah, I, I really, really like this one a lot. 
Next up we have this Valentine's Day card that says I only have eyes for you with Adam and Barbara on it from Beetlejuice. I actually got this Valentine's Day card in a um, in a monthly subscription box so I actually don't know who this is by. Um, I'll try to find out and link it in the description box like I said but I just thought it was really cute and I love Beetlejuice a lot so I thought it was fitting to keep it on my bookshelf. Then of course we have the original little Sammy Sam. He's so freaking cute. Um, this was also gifted to me by my partner. <laughs> like I said, he got me all of them because I love Sam. And yeah, this is from the same shop and I just really like him. I think he's adorable. He's spooky and cute and I don't know how anyone can't love Sam. He's just, he's just the best. Speaking of Sam, the next thing on my shelf is this little wood carving wood plank of Sam with some pumpkins and he has his little lollipop and it's just a cute little wood scene and my partner gave this to me for Christmas I believe and he also got this from Etsy and it is absolutely stunning. It is one of my favorite things in the entire universe. I love it so much and um, yeah, I just think it's so freaking cool and whoever made this is extremely talented and I am super jealous. Next up on the bookshelf that sits up on top of my Goosebump books is this skeleton hand I got from Target, I believe, two or three years ago. <laughs> I just think it's cool and I thought it was funny sitting here just like reaching for the Goosebumps books. I don't know. I just really liked it, so I put it there and yeah. And last but not least is this little plush Michael Myers. Michael Myers is also one of my favorite horror movie characters. I love him so much and I got this from Hot Topic, oh, I don't know, like four, five, six years ago. <laughs> it's been a really, really, really long time. I've had him for a really long time, but um, yeah, he's really cute and I just, have him sit on my shelf. So this shelf is kind of also random but also has some purpose and structure to it. This is probably one of the most structured shelves that I have on here to be honest. So this group right here are all books that have been sent to me by the authors to review on my channel. So I keep them all together just because um, I don't know, I think it's really cool to just see them all together and just be reminded that I get to do this and it's super cool and I review books and it's exciting and you know, just, I don't know, it's just a nice little reminder here that my reviews and my channel mean something and I'm doing something good I guess, <laughs> I don't know. That probably sounds stupid but that's pretty much why I did it and I just... I don't know, I just like having them all in one spot. I just think it's cool. Next up, this row is my Fear Street, Point Horror, R.L. Stein, and I have a few Christopher Pikes as well, so um, yeah, I just kept all of these together. I have like The Babysitter and Fear Streets over here. I have Nightmare Hour by R.L. Stein, The Haunting Hour by R.L. Stein. I don't know, this is kind of like my little YA point horror area. And then right here I have my scary stories to tell in the dark all three books because I love them and they're part of my childhood and I could never get rid of them. Then I have all my goosebumps which I am missing quite a few of them to have the collection so I am I am missing some but this is what I have so far and I feel like it's a pretty decent collection. But I wanted to keep them all together because I love Goosebumps and I like, I don't know, I just like the way they look together and yeah. Goosebumps were some of the first things that ever got me started into reading horror so I just like to have them near me and just keep them close. Next up is actually more manga, funny enough, but this is like my more cutesy manga, I guess. Um, right here I have my two editions of Sailor Moon, the Eternal Edition, so I have Volume 1 and Volume 2. I think there are 10, so I need to get the rest of those because they're absolutely beautiful, but these were gifted to me as well. 
Then I have two volumes of Big Hero 6, which is one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. I absolutely love Big Hero 6. It makes me cry every time I watch it, and I just, I fell in love the first time. And then I have volume one and two of The Ancient Magus Bride, which I have not read. Um, <laughs> I've had them for two years and I haven't read them, so uh, I need to get on that. But yeah, so just some more manga right here. And then I have this Autumn Eternal Forest Noir Photography book. I bought this um, off of the Forest Noir website. I follow the photographer on Instagram and her work is absolutely beautiful and it's just a book of her photography and it's just absolutely stunning and I just, I don't know, I like looking at it. It's very pretty. So yeah. Next up is my fourth shelf and the second to last shelf on this bookshelf tour. So let's get started. So first up is this Jason 8-Bit Funko Pop. This is actually my partner's. Um, I don't like Friday the 13th or Jason. <laughs> so um, yeah, I actually got this for him for Christmas, but uh, he didn't really have anywhere to put it. So we just put it on my bookshelf and um, he just kind of chills there, even though I don't really care for him. And actually, this is kind of a Jason shelf, so you'll see more of our friendo Jason boy on this one. And then we have this leather face figurine that I got from a Loot Fright box. He's very scary with blood and his chainsaw and yeah, I think he's pretty cool and I like him so I just put him on a shelf to display. Oh looky here, we have another Jason Funko Pop. Again, this is my partner's. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah, he just chills on my shelf. And then last we have a little Jason plushie. This one matches my Michael one and we actually bought them together um, from Hot Topic, I believe I said that already. But yeah, so this one just matches my Michael one and this is also my partner's and he just sits on my shelf, so. Okay, as for this shelf, this is also kind of a random shelf, but I figure you all have guessed that my shelves are kind of random. So over here I have my Grady Hendrix books, so The Southern Book Club's Guide to Saying Vampires, My Best Friend's Exorcism, and Horror Store. Um, they just chill right here together because I like to keep certain authors together. And then right here you have my Stephen King collection. These are all the Stephen Kings I own. Um, if you watch me regularly, you know I'm not the biggest Stephen King fan. I don't overly care for his writing, uh, but I have read all of these and I've enjoyed most of them. So that's why they are the ones that I displayed because I do like them. Uh, my favorite, in case you didn't know, is Needful Things. That's my favorite book by SK. I also like The Shining and Rose Matter and The Long Walk. Carrie was okay. This is a collection of stories in here. I think it has, um, what's the one that I liked? Apt Pupil was my favorite out of this one, so I liked that one. And then, of course, we have It, which I have mixed feelings on. Um, I don't love it as much as other people. I like the story. I just think the book is, uh, too long, so... Yeah, so that's my Stephen King collection. And then over here we have thriller or horror thriller adjacent books. Um, my sister, The Serial Killer, which I think can toe the line between horror and thriller. I consider it a horror book, but I know some people do not. Um, then we have The Girl on the Train, Gone Girl. Um, I don't like Gone Girl in case you didn't know. Um, yeah, then just some other thrillers. So this is just like a little thriller corner. Of course I have more, but you know, no room. I guess I could just push them all the way up here. <laughs> that might look a little dumb, so we'll see. And then over here I have Keelan Patrick Burke, uh, Shirley Jackson, I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid, and Wor Wormwood by Chad Lutsky and Tim Meyer. So kind of a random shelf, but also not super random. Okay, and then we are on my final shelf. This is probably the most chaotic shelf 
and the one with the least amount of decor just because no one sees this one and it was just kind of for loose bits that I couldn't fit anywhere else or um I, I don't know I I want to rearrange this shelf and put some of the decor pieces somewhere else but like I said I'm running out of room and I need ideally another bookshelf so the first piece of decor is this little Coraline button uh, statue figurine it's not really a statue, but like this little figurine isn't, come on, there we go. Isn't she so cute? Oh my gosh, I love her so much. This was also a gift from my partner. He got it off of Etsy, I believe, but yeah, this is just so cute. Ideally, I would have this somewhere else, but it is so tall that it just doesn't really fit. Oh, I guess it could fit on this shelf, to be fair. Maybe I'll move it on the other shelf, the one above it. But anyway, so it doesn't matter. You don't need to know about that. I'll figure, I'll figure it out, you know. Yeah, ideally, I would like it somewhere else because I just really like this and I want it to be more of a center, a center stage piece, a piece that everyone can look at and enjoy and, ah, there we go, and enjoy like me. So yeah, I love this so, so much. And then we have this bookworm with the Beetlejuice sandworm on it. Um, this plaque from Sinister Signs. This one was actually sent to me by Maddie as well, so I did not pay for this one. Yeah, I really, really like this one. I had it, had it above my Death Note books for a while, but I'm running out of room and I don't know where to put this one so I'm gonna have to reorganize and try to put this somewhere else so I can see it because like I said you can't see anything on this shelf so hopefully this will be moved someplace else eventually. <laughs> and then last but not least is this blue velvet skull I got from Marshalls I believe two, three years ago. Um, I really like it. It's got moons and stars cut in the top. I love the color. I love the velvet. It just, it does collect dust like nobody's business. It's really gross. Um, so I have to like get the dust out of it quite a few times, but it does look really cool. Um, again, I just don't have anywhere else to put it. Um, so it's down here on the bottom shelf, but I really, really, really do like this. And then as for books, like I said, this is also pretty random. I don't think this has any rhyme or reason to it. If it did have a reason or a purpose for being this way, I think I messed it up after I shoved more books down here. So um, yeah, there's no real organization here. Over here, I was trying to put some extreme horror, like Gone to see the River Man, uh, skins, uh, body art, clown flesh. Um, I don't have too many extreme horror books because it's not really my favorite subgenre, but I also have some Natasha Preston books. Um, here's a Riley Sager. Miso in the Miso Soups over here, Cirque Berserk, some novellas like Dear Laura and True Crime and that kind of thing. You. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is just random books, really. I, I, I really don't know, to be honest. I need to go through this shelf and honestly all my shelves and get rid of books that I don't like because there are some books on here that I will never read again. Um, <laughs> probably on this shelf, <laughs> so I should probably go through it. Um, Tender is the Flesh, I absolutely loved. Dathan Auerbach's Pen Pal is one of my favorite books of all time. And I don't know why it's down here, uh, because it should be at the top, just like Tender is the Flesh. I really liked Baby Teeth, Antioch, Come Closer. Like, some of these are my absolute favorites and should not be at the bottom. So I don't know why they are down here. And then some of these, like, can just leave. Like, I don't know why I have some of them. Uh, like the October Boys I'd probably get rid of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I probably need to do a book, uh, a book sort through and get rid of some of these that I will never read again and I don't care to own anymore. Uh, mainly down here on the bottom shelf. I, I, like I said, I don't know why some of them are down here because Pen Pal is one of my favorites. Tender is the Flesh is amazing. Gone to see the River Man is one of my favorites. So I don't know why they're, they're all down here. 
I should probably rearrange at some point and uh, kind of do a book sort and get rid of things that I don't I don't care for so yeah but that's my bottom shelf so I guess we're done now wow okay my friends that is my bookshelf tour as of August it is August right yes August 2021 um, hopefully there will be some changes like getting another bookshelf and uh, <laughs> expanding this because like I said I need more room for books I am running out um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was fun and entertaining and somewhat uh, helpful I know a lot of you do ask where I get my decor from so maybe this will help you a bit I, I i hope i hope it's not too chaotic or too all over the place i hope it looks okay as you know this is my second time filming this video because my first one had to be scrapped because the lighting was so so bad so i hope that everything looks okay in this one and yeah i hope it was entertaining and fun and i don't know insightful or something i, I don't know maybe i don't know just fun i don't know you can let me know in the comments down below. If you want to suggest another video, uh, I don't have another bookshelf, so <laughs> I can't do another one of these videos. But if you want to request another kind of video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know what kind of content you like from me. That way I can keep providing you with that kind of content. If you haven't already, subscribe and we can become friends, talk about books, makeup, movies, horror, all kinds of things. I do a lot on this channel so hopefully there's something for everyone. And with that being said, I hope you are having a wonderful day. I hope you liked the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!